Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka okay, The Weather Gamer, bringing you week 8 of BRL Season 8. We've got two weeks to go. Um, we're playing Jagged Heart 666 and the Wisconsin Typhlosions. We really, really need this win. We're 4-3 and three right now. Um, we are in 6th place right now. A win should get us into playoffs um, should just because if I win with enough differential it should be really hard for me to fall out with a loss a loss really puts me on the back foot and I'm gonna have to win for sure week nine and then potentially need help getting in so a win right now would be great to get the streak of BRL playoff appearances to continue so I'm gonna pause and well I guess um so, Jag has a team consisting of Kama O, Arcanine, uh, Hale, Aloma Molo, which I think comes because it just shuts down a good chunk of my physical um, offense, which is also why I think Arcanine comes. Nido, Queen, Nido King just hits me like a truck. Here's the uh, battle. They brought the Mandibuzz and the Steelix. Okay. I was not expecting those. It's nice not to see the Arc. Brings the Mega Steelix. And also brings the Mandibuzz. So it's definitely Rocky Helmet Buzz. Um, Buzz was definitely a possibility, again, just because of how physically offensive my team is. Um, it basically shuts down my entire team except Prima Arena. So I will need to have Mandibuzz out of the game for most of my team to go up and running. Um, I am going to lead the Beedrill here. Although if he's got the Scarf Nido King, Beedrill also does not do hardly anything this game. It does not really have a whole lot of value to it, so... Um, it just, it's the best lead against the king. So, I'm about 90% certain this is Scarf King. Based on the lead. Because he was not threatened by anything. He will obliterate... B drill. If he scarfed, he obliterates B drill. If he switches, he's faking. He's either scarfed and he faked it, or he is. So he's probably not Scarf then. Rocky Helmet? Not Rocky Helmet. 35% to the Mandibuzz off of Beedrill. Especially defensive. Or I low rolled. It's not very dissolved, it's arc dissolved. I'm torn between moon blasting and liquid voicing here. off my wise glasses and 
down goes Mandibuzz. Which is perfect, because now, um... Both Cinderace and Garchomp kind of just go in. I just have to get rid of Aloma Mola. It was into the king, of all things. Well, this is still really nice to beat down Steelix, so... Once again, Beedrill does not do hardly anything this game. So I could very easily swap into Beedrill here. Now then the question becomes, is he uh, scarfed into that? Sledge Wave only doing 31.8, so he's a uh, choice scarfed. He faked it, uh, or they faked it. Yep, choice scarfed. Faked it on the first run. So that's what I needed to know. There is a scarf Nido King running around. 31.8 was a low roll. Um, which means he is definitely pivoting here. So I'm just going to U-turn. Yep, in comes the A-Tails. And then Cinderace just gets to come in and click button. I'm actually going to U-turn because I'm predicting the fish to come in. He couldn't dare risk Arc Dissolt coming in because if I Powerball, he just loses it. Back on that Aloma. 32 to 39. Oh, wait, that was from B. Um, 20 to 24. 28, Spadef. That is Spadef. Hmm. No defense. Bulky HP. No, that wouldn't make sense either. This thing's invested in something. Well, regardless, it's in range. Free to fire off an earthquake, pretty much. Or toxic. This is just a game of pivoting around at this point. I'm burning the hail. Oh, it's uh, Icy Rock. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's Icy Rock. Okay, that's good to know that there's eight turns of uh, hail coming down.
I need about two shots this thing. Well, it doesn't two. Sh well, it depends on the roll. It could potentially two shot, but then I have to play this. Oh, I sack Mega B to burn hail. That's what I do. Oh, I lost my wise glasses. That's something I have to remember. Nido King still dies. I have no real reason not to hyper voice. It'll take out nine tails, it'll chunk the Zolt in half, it chunks Steelix in half, and it takes the king out. I do get a crit, which is nice. Toxic back. Now I energy ball because um, there's no reason not to, there's only one turn of tail left. And at this point, Prima also becomes a sacrifice to um, Neo King to keep Beedrill alive because Beedrill actually, I believe, no, Beedrill does not speed Zolt. Garchomp outspeeds Zolt. And once Aloma Mola goes down, Garchomp comes and clicks Earthquake repeatedly until things die. Yeah, that's actually what happens. As soon as the Aloma Mola dies, I just click Earthquake repeatedly. Beedrill. Ooh! Okay. Risk. Risky, risky play. What is Swallow doing this game as well? Actually, Swallow's not doing anything this game either. Doubles into the Scarf Nido King. Nice. So, Swallow. That was risky on his part on their part. That was really, really risky because I could have easily just liquid voice there. So Ledge Wave does kill. Does outspeed. Again, I sacrifice Beedrill too. Nice beans. Does get a crit. That's unfortunate. But also allows Cinderace to come in. I know it's choice locked. So it's Scarf with Ice Beam for uh, King. Why would you do that? Because you want to set Hail, that's why. Tails goes down, which is an even trade, and I get the momentum because I lose uh, the drill as well. No, I don't get momentum because they aren't forced to bring out first. Um, so this becomes a sacking game. No, it doesn't. I just bring out Garchomp. What am I thinking? goes down. He knows I'm scarfed into Earthquake, which means I outspeed his king. Which, this is the only thing that outspeeds king. Swellow subs out, because Swellow serves no purpose. This game, I just keep continuing. I click Boom Burst to get the boost, and then I start uh, 
Heat waving this thing till it dies. Serp beats the Olomomola. Garchomp wins the game. Still rocks. So we can chip things down. Ooh, I missed. A rare miss for Sir. That's fine, we're gonna play the trade game now. So it's gonna be a three, oh, because I'm gonna lose another Mon to get Garchomp back into Clicker quite repeatedly. Those are not the Mons I need. Oh no, I do need those. I need to take out a little Mola. And then I'm going to lose Serp on the next turn. Because he'll go Neoking, he'll uh, Ice Beam. I go into Garchomp and I Earthquake twice. Yeah, Steelix is in range. Well, it's not range. It'll die to two different hits, so... Sludge Waves. Garchomp comes in. Garchomp clicks Earthquake. Why would you sack the Steelix? I'm scarfed. Does he not realize that I'm scarfed? He just gave me the 3 0. And Garchomp takes it. So that puts me at five and three plus eight, I believe, which might make me outside of being knocked out of playoffs. I gotta double check that here. Uh, standings. Five and three plus eight. That moves me all the way up to second. And the best, the eighth place team can finish right now is five and four yeah so that should punch my ticket then so now it's just a fight i will not make the uh, top spot oh, now it's a fight to get the number two over strange mcduck because envy's got the uh buy wrapped up so um call the scarf king which was great but yeah, that will move us up into third place at 5 and 3 plus 8. So, we'll be staring at a showdown with Kiwi. Funnily enough, if uh, the season ended this way, I think, because 2 plays 7, no, 3 plays 6. So I'd be rematching with Luki. Oh god, I might have to see how that game plays out, whether or not I play my match or throw my match to try and affect playoff seating, because I really don't want to go against Luki again. But. Anyways, GG's to my opponent. We will see you guys next time.